hello everyone welcome you all in my youtube channel mind your choices so today's question related with coordinate geometry you can see here question number six and seven one two five i al already uploaded uh, before now you can see here question number six determine the equation of the line passing through the midpoint of the line joining points these two we have to find out equation of line which is passing from the midpoint it means we have to find out midpoint of line joining these two points and perpendicular to the line 3x minus 8y plus 10 is equal to zero let's take a start i will show you with a diagram so you can understand more properly so let's uh, draw the diagram first of all we have to find out equation of line which is perpendicular it means equation of this line is 3x minus 8y plus 10 is equal to 0 we have to find out equation of this line which is perpendicular equation is equal to what hope you understand up to here now look at here the equation of line passing through the midpoint okay this line is passing through the midpoint of line joining two points two points is given here three four and another is there minus one minus six so we have to find out equation of this line this line is passing through the midpoint of line joining these two points so we get here midpoint also and um, this line which we are going to find out this line is perpendicular to another line also so here 90 degree it means slope of this line and slope of this line is equal to minus one the product of their slopes is equal to minus one first of all we have to find out one point and then we have to find out slope then we can get equation it means uh, let's find out slope of this line and midpoint of line joining points let here a and here b and here is p let p x y be the midpoint of line joining points of the line joining points a 3 4 and b minus 1 minus 6 before starting the question try to understand the question then only start okay so here we have to find out the midpoint first of all p x y is equal to what is the formula of midpoint x1 plus x2 by 2 y1 plus y2 by 2 is equal to x1 y1 x2 y2 so x1 is equal to what is here 3 minus x2 is equal to here is minus 1 that's why we have to write minus 1 by 2 similarly y1 is equal to 4 and here is plus and this one is uh, minus so plus minus minus and y2 is equal to 6 here so 6 by 2 so when you calculate this what we get here 2 by 2 and here we get minus 2 by 2 is equal to 1 minus 1 so we get midpoint is equal to 1 minus 1 so the value of p is equal to what we get here 1 minus 1 now we have one point to find out equation of this line we need one point which we have now okay now we need slope to find out slope what we have to do first of all we have to find out slope of this line and these two are perpendicular each other it means their product of their slopes is minus 1 m1 m2 is equal to minus 1 we get m2 if we get m2 and we have a point then we can use a one point formula to find out equation okay so let's find out the slope slope of the line 3x minus 8y plus 10 is equal to 0 is what is the slope let m1 here minus coefficient of x in front of x what is there 3 coefficient of x is equal to 3 so 3 by coefficient of y we have to take with sign minus 8 so minus 8 is equal to 3 by 8 if two lines are perpendicular then what is the condition m1 m2 is equal to minus 1 m1 is equal to what we get here 3 by 8 3 by 8 into m2 is equal to minus 1 so we get m2 is equal to minus 8 by 3 this 8 into minus 1 minus 8 and 3 will become down so this m2 slope of this required line now we have to slope of this line also and we have one point also so we have to use one point formula to get equation of this line so hence the required equation is 
हैंस द रिक्वायर्ड इक्वेशन ऑफ परपेंडिकुलर लाइन इज अ वन पॉइंट फार्मूला वी हैव टू यूज वाई माइनस वाई वन इज इक्वल टू एम एक्स माइनस एक्स वन x1 y1 means whatever we got here one point okay that one means x1 x x1 y1 one and minus one and the value of m m means slope of that line slope of this line slope of this line means this m2 okay so here y minus y1 is equal to minus one we got there so we have to write plus one m2 is m is equal to m2 minus eight by three x minus x1 x1 is equal to what is here one so we have to write here one now just cross multiply three into y three y plus three into one three is equal to minus eight into x minus eight x minus minus plus eight into one eight now we have to arrange this here is minus eight x when you take left side what happened eight x it will be positive we have to change the sign okay now we have to write three y first of all we have to write x term then y term and then number number you can see here plus 3 so we have to write plus 3 you have to take this 8 also another side left side so we have to write minus 8 we have to change the sign also when you change the place you have to change the sign now 8x plus 3y minus 5 is equal to 0 which is required equation of a state line perpendicular to 3x minus 8y plus 10 is equal to 0 so at last you can write which is required equation of a straight line which is uh, required equation of a straight line or perpendicular line you can say okay hope you understand this question number six properly now look at the question number seven question number seven also in front of you you can see here the question number seven find the equation of a straight line passing uh, perpendicular to the line this okay we have to find out equation of this line which is perpendicular to the given line so here equation of this line is 5x plus 2y is equal to 12 okay we have to find out equation of this line equation is equal to what which is perpendicular to the given line they are perpendicular okay here 90 degree perpendicular and making x intercept minus 5 x intercept minus 5 means y intercept definitely 0 so it means x intercept minus 5 means intercept give x intercept given it means y intercept is equal to 0 so the mm, line this required line which we are going to find out passing through the point minus 5 0 now we have a two method to do either we have to find out slope of this line and slope of this line and slope of this line is equal to minus 1 because they are perpendicular each other like question number 6 um, but I am going to show you by another method also so it's easy to do any method in exam so it will be helpful you have to learn properly look at here by another method given equation of straight line is what is there given 5x plus 2y is uh, is equal to 12 or we can write there 5x plus 2y minus 12 is equal to 0 equation 1 now any line perpendicular to this line is equal to what any line I'm talking about this line any line perpendicular to this line any line perpendicular to equation one one is if perpendicular what we have to do we have to change the coefficient in the place of five we have to write two in the place of two we have to write on five and in the place of plus we have to write minus if minus we have to write on plus if plus we have to write on minus we have to change the sign also it means what we have to write 2x minus 5y and at last always we have to write plus k is equal to 0 equation 2 equation 2 means equation of this line required line but here is constant number now we have to find out the value of k then we have to put the value of k here you will get equation how to put the value of k here B this line equation 2 equation 2 is passing equation 2 means this line this required line is passing through how much minus 5 0 so we can write here equation 2 equation 2 makes x intercept or write on equation 2 makes x intercept minus 5 so the line 2 
passes through passes through the point minus 5 0 okay if x intercept given minus 5 then minus 5 0 if y intercept is minus 5 given then we have to write 0 minus 5 then that time if y intercept given then in the place of x we have to write down 0 so now we have to put the value of uh, x is equal to minus 5 y is equal to 0 so substituting or putting also you can write substituting the value of x and y in equation 2 now we have to put the value in equation 2 and we get value of k so 2 into in the place of x we have to write minus 5 minus 5 into in the place of y we have to write 0 plus k is equal to 0 after this minus 10 minus 0 plus k is equal to 0 so k is equal to this 10 you will you have to take here so we get here 10 this minus 10 is here when you take another side it will be 10 now put the value of k in equation 2 so we can write here language is very necessary directly you cannot do language is very necessary you will get good marks when you write a proper language putting the value of k in equation 2 now we have to put the value of k in equation 2 so what we can write here 2x minus don't put the value of x and y again just put the value of k there 2x minus 5 uh, 5y plus in the place of k we have to write on 10 is equal to 0 which is required equation of a straight line with perpendicular to 5x plus 2y is equal to 10 so this is the answer at last you can write down which is required equation of a straight line or you can leave up to here and write down here answer hope you understand this two questions number six and seven which i done today if you understand please hit the like button and if you are new on my channel please subscribe and please press the bell button so you will get the notification of upcoming videos too and if you have any kind of question you can send me by facebook page or facebook group you can get in uh, um, video description please like my facebook page and description and you can send me question there too so i can help you as soon as possible uh, thank you so much keep supporting have a great day